Hey up everyone, I'm back again. So uh, today I'm just having a look at the Xperia Z Ultra Lollipop ROM, uh, which is available for the device. Uh, it's brought to you courtesy of the Resurrection Remix guys, uh, who have also made an awesome ROM for the HTC One M8 based upon Lollipop. Uh, it's a 5.0.2 ROM, so you're getting the latest build of Lollipop, which is quite cool. Uh, it comes up with all your nice toast notifications and heads up kind of notifications uh, which uh, keeps you well informed. Uh, it's also the version I'm using is 5.3.2 which is the latest version. I did flash on an earlier version of it by accident and nothing was working like the camera in it etc but uh, soon rectified that by scrolling down and getting the right version. So I have been testing quite a few things on the device just to make sure that uh, you know you're not losing any functionality and as you can see the camera seems to be quite good still and uh, if we try the video obviously it is based upon very stock software so you're not going to get your Sony camera uh, software but uh, it does work as it should do uh, and another thing I was quite concerned about with this device is whether the connectivity to the official Bluetooth adapter uh, is still working because obviously it's a big device and you need a little Bluetooth dongle if you're in the car or something uh, and uh, I did uh, manage to connect it to this uh, Bluetooth dongle that Sony does provide uh, which is pretty cool uh, and then you put your headphones basically in there and uh, it does uh, it works fine I think that the battery though is flat on this so I need to charge it up to demonstrate it I can just check if uh, it will come to life a bit but I think as you can see it's flashing red but uh, that is the Bluetooth uh, device on the uh, screen there you can see it's uh, paired up quite nicely and I did manage to listen to some music and test that it's working so uh, it's all good in that, in that respect and uh, everything else seems to be quite good as well uh, swipe to the right and you get access to your uh, Google Now kind of interface OK Google OK Google when is the Xperia Z4 coming out? So it didn't quite catch what I said there, but you can see it is uh, working nevertheless. And you can say that from like any screen, which is quite cool. Uh, and uh, your multi user should also be working okay. So as you can see, that's uh, all working very nice. And uh, can go back to me. Like the uh, HEC One M8, you're going to get some nice gestures as well. Uh, that you can see the heads up notification there, which is quite cool. Uh, but the gestures and things can be set in the options. Uh, for example, you can double tap to sleep the device and then open it back up again. It's quite good. Uh, and uh, you've got all sorts of different options here where you can really make some nice customizations. And uh, you can also set on what it looks like you can. Maybe you can't do that yet. Not sure what's going on there, but. Uh, it does look like you should be able to set on different themes, but for some reason it keeps crashing when I click on it. Uh, but you can like choose different uh, customizations to your heart's content, as you can see here. You can also do your gestures uh, to quickly like circle, for example, if you want to go into something. And uh, quite a lot of stuff there. I think a little bit more than the stock Xperia ROM. 
and uh, obviously performance as well power saving mode or high performance I do like the way the color changes uh, when you do like uh, different things can you see that you got like an orange banner come on the bottom and at the top so it reminds you you know you've got that on which is quite cool and uh, you see that the color does seem to change on kind of every app now that you use so for example we got this red one uh, for that and then if we go to play music you got an orange one uh, so I think that the kind of interface is a lot more cohesive now uh, for Android because before it was kind of all over the place uh, and uh, I do like the Sony skin don't get me wrong but I think I do like the lollipop one a little bit more and uh, you know it's quite nice that uh, for example when you're on the lock screen you can just quickly go into stuff you got your nice clean uh, dialer here which is quite nice and uh, yeah you know I think it's quite a pretty cool ROM and uh, pretty stable except for obviously that little issue uh, with the settings in terms of the themes maybe they'll update it to get rid of that issue but it's not a huge issue you can customize it yourself pretty much uh, and I uh, think uh, it doesn't come with too many different uh, customization options like when you go into the background settings but uh, you can uh, oh you can get to it from here it looks like which is quite cool so you can get some more customizations here like your boot animation and your uh, icons fonts so gives you some links if you want to get some more as well and uh, just uh, double check the uh, so as you can see this is the uh, information uh, and we are running 5.3.2 with the latest Android which is quite cool and uh, go on then let's have another go oh it's this one can't let me in I'm in a winning mood oh yes there we go ah oh, come on another go ah oh, this is very annoying ah oh, come on a little bit of improvement but still needs some practice I guess but yeah you know uh, I think this is a pretty cool ROM and definitely will make your uh, Xperia Z Ultra feel like a new device again still an awesome device in general uh, you know I can't really notice too many speed differences when you consider it against like the top tier Nexus 6 and things like that uh, and uh, it is a little bit bigger as well than the Nexus 6 so putting this ROM on you could save yourself a fortune uh, so yeah you know gonna wrap it up now I hope you enjoyed this little video and uh, I will see you very shortly please thumbs it up if you did cheers <laughs>